All right, so now let's learn the loose legs. So we went from the chase to the cross drag. Now we're at the loose legs. Each step is a little bit more intricate than the previous one. So the loose legs adds a, a heel toe to the step that we've already been building upon. So the chase, we bring it out, pull it in, bring it out, pull it in. The cross drag, we add the ball change. Ball change, ball change, ball change, ball change. So now we keep that same ball change, and then we add a heel toe. So this one's gonna feel like one and two and, right? There's four beats that we're accenting with our feet to keep rhythm. So before we do the heel toe, think that without the heel toe in the middle, you're just doing a ball change step, ball change step, ball change step, ball change step. And I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it to show you how I start to twist a little bit here, and then I come back to the middle. So I'm using my hips to drive the motion of this step, all right? Again, this step is just a more intricate version of the previous ones. So if you can do those, it's not too bad to work your way up to this. So now adding the heel step, or the heel toe, we're gonna do it slowly. You start with that same ball change. I angle my body a little bit this way. And then as I do the heel toe, I turn my body back to the front and then I put the toe down in front of my body like this. All right, so it's kind of like the same finishing point as the chase or the, the cross drag, right, before you transition to the other side. So again, ball change, heel toe, ball change, heel toe. All right, I'm crossed in front. Now, I angle my body this way, ball change, heel toe. Ball change, heel toe. Ball change, heel, toe, ball, change, heel, toe. When you do this step again, you wanna keep your knees a little bit bent, a little bit soft. You don't wanna be completely straight up or it doesn't feel quite like loose legs. <laughs> it's like stiff legs or tight legs. So keep your legs bent and that's gonna help you to stay loose during this step. Just like we did with the chase and the cross drag, try to Lift that knee up when you start, and then pick up the other foot. One and to accent that ball change. One and heel toe. One and heel toe. One and heel toe. Heel toe. Lift. 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 You know you're doing this right when it feels like each of the steps is the same rhythm. You don't want it to feel like that's a way you can practice the step, but when you do it to music, you want to keep the rhythm. One and two and one and two and. So lifting the leg is gonna give you more of a deliberate step so you can feel that rhythm in your feet. Okay, try a little faster. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, and 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 one and two, one and two, and one. Okay, that's the loose legs. Just like the chase and the cross drag, you can adjust the angle that you step out. I could even turn a bit. If I wanted to, okay? That's what makes these steps important, is that you practice bringing your weight away but then you bring it back under you. Once you bring it back under you, you have your balance back. It's easy to go into any other step in any other direction. So that's why we practice it. Let's try the loose legs with music.